I'm Dr Liz Farkerson, I'm working here at SADI at the Plant Research Centre. At the moment I'm working on a GRDC project that's looking at improving the nitrogen fixation of pulses and we're doing that through uh, looking at the agronomy, um, inoculation practice and also development of new rosopia strains. We're looking at a whole range of crop types in the, the project. We've got a big focus on the Group EF pulses to start with because they're grown extensively in southern Australia. So that's the uh, fava beans, lentils, field pea, and we're also including vetch in that group. Um, but we're also uh, looking at chickpeas and lupins. This year we have trial sites over at Port Broughton, also at Hart and at Loxton in South Australia, as well as um, some trial sites at Neil in Victoria with our um, collaborators over there. At Port Broughton this year we have a chickpea trial. So chickpeas aren't grown as widely through the southern region, their history isn't as long here. And so generally growers need to inoculate chickpea crops, particularly if they don't have a history of the crop. In addition to that, we find that um, anecdotally that chickpea just doesn't seem to nodulate as well as um, some of the other crops like lentils. So uh, at the child this year at Port Broughton and also at our site at Neil, we're just looking at a range of treatments that might improve chickpea nodulation. So here we have some uh, chickpea plants here and some lentil plants over here, both collected from our Port Broughton site. So Port Broughton had a history of both um, crop species but uh, it's been growing lentils for many, many years, whereas I think chickpea was only grown for the first time three years ago. And so um, chickpea only has um, around 10 nodules per plant um, at this site. Even uh, with inoculation, we were able to improve that slightly, but ultimately we'd like to see better nodulation on chickpea than we're currently seeing on these plants. In comparison, lentils were very well nodulated. They have not been inoculated at all, and yet we're seeing 50 or more nodules per plant, which is considered um, adequate nodulation. And those chickpea nodules, as you can see here, are, are nice and pink. And we're also seeing the nodules on both the taproot and out onto the lateral roots. So what growers can consider when they're growing chickpeas is consider inoculating um, every time unless you have an excellent history of chickpea in the rotation and you know that those chickpea crops in the past have been well nodulated. So an important thing growers can do each season for all pulse crops is around uh, 10 to 12 weeks after sowing and into early spring they can consider digging up uh, some pulse plants out of their each crop have a look at the nodulation and make sure the crops are well or to adequately nodulated. That'll help growers make informed decisions about whether inoculation is needed into the future. And there's lots of resources on the GRDC website where they can um, access more information on how to do that and what prizes good nodulation.